everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is Charmaine and if this is your first time visiting thanks so much for visiting I am so excited about showing you how to do this offset or you can call it offset or you can call it shallow shadowing I have a few people in my group that would like to know how to do this and I've just learned it myself so please come and check us out Brown Girls Craft with Cricut. But if you want to join the group, please answer all the questions. That's all I ask for you is please answer the questions. And then I will approve you to be in the group. Let's get started with this video. Today I will be using Inkscape to um, show you how to design a shadow or an offset. So you can be able to put it on your projects that you use with Cricut. We will design it in Inkspace. And then we can cut it and then we can upload it in Cricut Design Space. All right, let's get started. First of all, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see a little better. That's where my um, name is going to go. Then first thing to do is go over here to the A, which is called the text object. I'm going to click on that, click in the box, and then go ahead and write my name, type my name. Okay, and then the first thing we need to do is go over here and click, click, click on this box over here on the right hand side. It's called enable snapping. We can click on that so we can enable that. Then I want to go ahead and go to this corner arrow, which is called the select object. So I'm gonna click on that, and I'm gonna be able to make this make my um name bigger, make it big enough to fit inside of this um. So just pull on pull on the um little arrows right here click on it until you find the arrows you don't want these arrows if you want to have these arrows you can pull it over to make it fit okay and don't worry about let me go up down a little bit don't worry about this right here we'll fix that later okay so now we have that and my font is already where I want it to be, I'm pretty sure this is this is called Belmont font. So I just pushed on the T right here to see what font it is. Yes, it is called Belmont font. Okay, so that's the font I have on there already. Now we go ahead and um, we can click on path. Then we're gonna go click on object to path right here, and then we're gonna go ahead and. Click object again, and then we're going to go ahead and click ungroup. And see how all the letters are um, ungrouped. So now we have to go back to path and group and go to union. And union means weld. That's what union means. Like in Cricut, it's basically welding. And union here it means welding. Then we got to go back to path again and then link offset let's find that it should be let's see then find link offset i'm sorry link offset okay and when you do link offset it'll get a little cursor right here now let's go ahead and change the color i want to make it red down here at the bottom let's click on one of these colors down here at the bottom okay and then i go ahead and go put let's pull the diamond a little bit Take your cursor and just pull it up and that's how there's your um your um shadow so let me see how thick you can make it as thick as you want to you make it that thick you can make it all the way down to here okay so let me go let me go, like it probably like about, about there okay and then i go ahead and push select to the select to and now I can go ahead and click on my, my little, my name, the black part of it, and so we can separate it. Okay, easy as that. And right here, this is also an SVG. You know what I'm saying? We are, we could be done right here. And this is the SVG. So you just made an SVG in Inkspace, okay? And if you take this right now to um, Cricut, it'll cut just like this. But let's do a couple more things I'm going to do. Let's take these circles out just to clean this up so it can just be one cut. Because if you could keep these circles in here... Cricut will cut these out too. Okay, so then we go ahead and click on the um, text right here. Then we go to path. And then we go to 
object to path and then see how you get all these on here all these little spots and then I go to the Noid tool right here and then I just go right here because I want to get these holes out of here I'm gonna get that out of there so I go here and then I push I am so sorry for the next step I'm about to show you I should have zoomed in a little bit so you could see it closer but I didn't notice this until I start editing the video that I should have zoomed in. But right now what I'm doing is I'm just basically getting those white spots out of there. And I'm just basically covering it up with my cursor. And then I'm going to the Noid tool and then I push delete to get those white spots, the white holes out of my name. I highlight this piece right here. Then I push delete. Then I highlight this piece right here. Then I push delete. And see now it's all clean. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and click off the um noid tool. Okay, so now that we have all our um area cleaned out and those there's no more circles and no more holes in the name. So I go back to my the arrow key up here and then I just bring it back together. And there we have it. We have our shadow or, or, um, on, or offset. Well, let's select the whole thing right now. So make sure they both selected. Go to object, align, so we can make sure it's aligned all the way, all the way at the bottom, align and distribute. Okay. Then I go over here and I click center vertical and center horizontal. So it's all centered. Okay, so it's all centered with the um back, the shadow. Okay, now you can go ahead and save it. File, save as. Some people save it as an Inkscape SVG or some people save it as a plain SVG. I'm gonna go ahead and save it as a plain SVG. And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna go ahead and um put it on my desktop. And I'm gonna change the name right here. Okay. Okay. And then I just go ahead and push save. So now that's done. I'm going to close out. Okay. So now let's go to Cricut. Launch Cricut. New project. It was not that hard to do. I looked on youtube and try to find out the best route it's another route you can take too but this was the easiest route for me um and i it only took us less than 10 minutes to do it so not too hard and i also have another simple way if you don't want to do this go through all those steps with inkscape i have another simple way that i can i have found some fonts some i have found some offset and some shadow and fonts on the web on the, on, on the internet so i can also do a video on that if you want to do all these steps you can find some quick fonts on the internet and I can sh I can do that video I can do a tutorial to that too just let me know comment below if you want me to do a video on how to just find some simple fonts instead of going through all these steps I just did with um in Inkscape I apologize and I hope you continue to watch my videos I'm trying to show you different things that I know but I do have a habit of talking fast so let's go ahead and go to new upload and i'm gonna go ahead and find the one i just did and my desktop okay this is it right here there we have it there is our shadow look at that okay so now what we can do is we can ungroup it and look at that. But I'm so excited I did that because it took me a minute to figure this out. <laughs> so now you go ahead and group it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and weld this. And why is it showing all those cuts? Let's go to make it and see. So there we have it. There's the, my name right here. And then there's the shadow. 
okay I'm gonna cancel that and that's how it's gonna print out and I don't understand this over here I see all these cuts over here I don't have no clue but let's see if I take it must be because it's my first time doing it and if y'all can help me with this too if, if y'all know why all these cuts are in here but it's good because it's not showing up so it must just be little tiny cuts I don't know where they're at but I'm gonna go ahead and delete them so they won't be inside of my um cut and print or whatever I mean, I'm going to go ahead and delete them, put the eyes on all of them, so it won't mess up my cuts. And it still looks good, so I don't know where it came from. So it must be something that I forgot to get when I when I um designed it. Little tiny cuts, but it looks good to me. Let's go ahead and um take the background off and just make sure everything looks good. As far as the cuts, yep, everything looks good. It's my first time trying it, and let's go ahead and put this back on here so we can see it. Again, bring it to the front and look at that. Okay. So, group it. And there it is. I love it. I My first shadow. And I showed y'all how to do it without um <laughs> messing up too much. Like I said, I, I'm real with my videos. I don't edit my goof ups i show you what i'm doing while i'm doing it and sometimes i do videos and i it'll be my first time doing it so it's a lot of times you're gonna see my videos and i make mistakes but i want you to learn from my mistakes okay this is my first time doing this and it's not my first time it's, i've been working with it all day today just trying to figure it out this is my first time recording it and, and doing the whole thing so um i'm not gonna cut this out it's already done and i um i probably cut out a different video when i'm ready to make something so I um I'll probably make another video, another tutorial on how to put this on a cup or something like that, or on a glass. Okay, so I'm not gonna cut it today, but I showed you how it looked on the on the on the mats. Let me show you again. This is how it's gonna look on the mat, black. And then this is the red. And you can always you can change the colors or whatever how you want to. And then you basically just put this down first, layer it, put this down first, and then you put the black on top of the red. All right. And you just, just you use 651 vinyl. Or you can use the heat transfer vinyl, whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to put it on. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is the end of this video. Like I said, I will show you. If you don't want to do all these steps, let me know because I can show you another video um, about how to just find some fonts with shadow. Please subscribe to my channel and please come join our group, Brown Girls Craft for Cricket. Thanks for watching.